Hey, Claude Johnson here with GuitarControl.com. And today I want to talk about learning a major scale across the entire neck. It's basically like, you know, if you've heard of diatonics, diatonic refers to the major scale and the modes. Diatonic as opposed to pentatonic. All right, so if you're familiar with pentatonic, let's say A minor pentatonic, penta is five, there's five notes. And each of those notes in that scale, right, A, C, D, E, G, could start a pattern. So you could start on the G, it's the lowest note, or here on the A or on the C. Right? So, and the reason you would want to know that is so you're not just stuck. You're not just stuck in that box. You can go anywhere and find your way around, right? Same thing with the major scale. So if I'm in C major, now there's lots of ways to do it. I mean, you could play patterns like this. You could play three notes of string, even four notes of string. Um, one of the easiest ways to visualize this is three notes of string, okay? So it's a little bit of a stretch, but it makes things very symmetrical. And also, when you're practicing your alternate picking, it's going to be the same every time. Down, up, down, and then up, down, up, down, up, down, and so on. Okay, so here's your first pattern. Okay, I'm going to tab all this out for you, so click the link in the video description. Next pattern will be here. Next pattern here. Next pattern. Next pattern. Well, go down the octave. Next pattern, we're up to the A minor. And last one. Now these could also be modes too, so like Major, D Dorian, right? E Phrygian. Uh, you can check out my video on modes where I kind of go a little bit deeper into that. But anyway, check the link in the video description and also check out guitarcontrol.com slash secrets. I go a lot deeper into learning skills all over the neck and all that all that good guitar stuff. Uh, so check it out and uh, let me know what you think.